up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is Tony and welcome back to another video all right guys it is Saturday morning and I'm just getting ready to head out um, last night I actually went out to taco fest um, downtown Toronto at Ontario place which was a whole vibe really really good times I went with one of my girlfriends that I work with and I think you guys would have seen a full recap at the start of this vlog um it was just such a good night they had a ton of different food vendors and they also had um like a live band and a dj um entertainment games um just a lot of different things such a such a good vibe i love this for toronto i must say that we put on every summer and there's literally always something to do like every weekend you could technically have something to do somewhere to go something to see Toronto's just not a place where you'll be bored. Very reminiscent to, I guess, New York or LA in that manner. Um, I'm gonna give us that. I mean, there's things or there's places where we fall short, but vibes and doing things is not necessarily one of them. I mean, I guess if you've been here for a while, you can get, not bored, but you just get used to what your city has to offer. So for that reason, you may wanna go somewhere else or venture out, but. I can't pretend like if you were new to Toronto that you wouldn't enjoy the vibe here. So that's what we got up to last night. And like I said, we enjoyed ourselves, had a good night. Um, right now it is 11.27 and I'm headed to meet up with Babe. We are going to spend the day together. Um, and we don't have anything specifically planned. I got to get a little bit of shopping done, and I don't know if he has any errands he wants to run. We might grab lunch, and yeah, just vibe out for the day. So I decided to kick off the vlog. Well, I've actually already kicked off the vlog. You guys saw me last night. Um, but I decided to come on here and just check in. And yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I either meet up with him or when we finally get up to something. Am I the only one obsessed with this Burner Boy track? I'm like speaking African and I'm not even African. <laughs> How can I help you? Hi there, I'll give you my um my code, just one second. Okay. It's four four three zero. Four 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 sorry four four three zero. Yes. How can I help you? Can I get a medium vanilla chai frat, please? Anything else? No, thank you. Sure, sure. Okay. Guys, I told you that I was obsessed and I meant it. I feel like McDonald's needs to sponsor me at this point because my obsession with this vanilla chai frap is bordering on unhealthy. Like I literally have one like a couple times a week. And I know Starbucks is not happy because I'm out here having a whole relationship with McDonald's. Like, full-on cheating. Comment down below if you guys have tried it because I know if you guys have, you guys are loving it just as much as I am. Hi, do you need a vanilla chai frap? Yes, please. Two, ten. Debit. Tony, right? Yes. Take care, have a good Thank morning. you, you too, hun. Yeah, just major obsession. Sorry, so as I was saying, because I didn't 
play that much and I turned it down and I still have it turned down. Guys, that last, last song by Burna Boy, if you have not heard it yet, definitely stream it. I'm like literally obsessed. And being honest, I don't know half the words. I'm out here ad-libbing and just singing along, but it's just such a vibe and I absolutely love him. Love, love, love him. If you haven't heard any of his music, just stream anything he has. Like, I don't know. I think his personality along with the music like just does something for me. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay. For you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach feels and then every day All I wanna hear is an evidence that we play Staring next to you Happy Sunday and happy Father's Day to all the daddies out there. I don't know um, what demographic of my audience is actually male, but if I do have any men watching and you are a father or a stepfather or a bonus father or grandpa or anything, <laughs> um, again, even if it's not biological, but if you do have that responsibility, happy Father's Day to you. Um, because just being the biological parent doesn't mean you're the actual parent. So definitely want to give you guys your shout out. Um, it is Sunday morning and it is a bit early. Your girl has been awake for quite some time. I've actually already washed my hair. Hence why it looks so raggedy right now. I literally just washed it and blew it out and threw it up into whatever this is. Um, I've tidied my bathroom. I've started cleaning my room. I do have a lot going on today, so I just had to get the ball rolling ASAP. Um, but I did want to just come on here because I feel like I ended the I ended the footage last night pretty abruptly. Actually, it's not that it ended abruptly. I just never came back on to follow up. But I feel like the last clips I had was just of me shopping at Marshall's. And after that, that was it. I <laughs> spent the rest of the day with Babe, like I said. And I just didn't bother picking up the camera. Um, so I'll show you guys the few things that I did pick up. Um, I didn't go crazy or anything. I was just looking for whatever I would find. I mean, I needed a few more pieces for work, like tops specifically. And so I just thought I would just look to see what they had. So I did grab a few things and that was basically it. It was nothing special or spectacular, but I did pick up a few pieces. Um, like I said, today's Father's Day, so I am also prepping for that. My dad's coming to my house and I'm going to have a barbecue for him. So that'll be nice. Um, unfortunately, I am not going to be vlogging that just because um, I haven't really got to spend much time with him recently. He's been busy AF. So instead of just kind of being mindful and having the camera out, I just feel like I'll just enjoy the moment with my family. 
And so there will be no footage of that, unfortunately. But dad, if you do watch this video, happy Father's Day. I love you lots. Um, so yeah, you guys, I feel like today's footage might be pretty short because like I said, it is going to be a busy day for me. I have a lot to get done. Um, still on top of what I've already done. So I will show you guys the things that I picked up. Um, and I might close the video out there just so that I can just jump into what I need to finish. I still have food to prep, stuff to get, um, and all that good stuff. You guys know how barbecues are. Like, there's just, you think you have enough, but then there's things that you still have to get or things you may have forgotten. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to just tidy up and I'm going to show you guys what I got. I feel like I said that already, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I got and then wrap the video there. And then what I will do is next tomorrow, I will start a weekly vlog because I told you guys I'm trying to do the weekly vlog thing because I feel like that might be easier for me versus trying to get an overload of content so that I have enough footage to post. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys what I got and then we'll catch up. So these are a few of the pieces that I picked up from Marshalls yesterday. Um, so I really just wasn't looking for anything specific, but I needed a few more tops for work and stuff. So I picked this one up and this was $11. And if you guys know me personally, as in in real life, you guys know that I don't wear a lot of print, especially a lot of bold print. But I thought this top was pretty cute. It, um, it has the two tassels here and then it has like a little higher neck with a little bit of detailing. So I thought this was cute. And of course a bargain find. I picked this up because I love black and that's just that. I love neutral colors and although this is print, I feel like the print is subtle. It's not in your face too, too much. And I really love the detailing on the arms as well as the high neck again. And this was 20 bucks. Again, another steal. So I thought this would be work appropriate as well. And I also got this um, sleeveless button down. This one is Calvin Klein. And I think this was on sale as well. Yeah, this was coming from 30 and I got it for 24 And this is cute and has um, some detailing in the shoulder pads. Or sorry. <laughs> It has some detailing, as in it has shoulder pads, which is cute, so it gives the shirt some structure. So this, again, work appropriate, or I could dress it down with, like, some jeans and stuff as well. And this has probably got to be my favorite find. This tank was 20 bucks, and I absolutely love the color, and I love this little detailing in the back. It cuts out just in the lower back section. Um, and the material, it's like a heavy cotton, so it's really nice. And I have a pair of shoes that I can pair it well with that I had gotten from Aldo years ago. It's the exact same color with a little fringe detailing right across the toe area. Actually, I might go grab that from the closet so you guys can see. So yeah, this was my favorite find along with these cute little sandals that I got as well. Now, I wasn't sure if they were a little bit too juvenile for me, but once I have them on, they look so cute. So I figure if um, if they don't work out, I can always give them to Tegan because, believe it or not, we're pretty much wearing the same size. But I really do like them. I think they're super cute. I will probably need to find a cute little purse to match. But yeah, I think these are cute little throw-on sandals for the summer if you're running errands, going to the beach, anything like that. I think what I'll actually do is I'll try them on so you guys can see because maybe you can't get the look, you know, just seeing them on their own. So these are a look, right? Tell me what you guys think because, I don't know, maybe I'm gassing myself. I think they're so cute. But yeah, I don't know. I like them. Let me know what you guys think, if I should keep them or if I should return them or if I should give them to Taken, but... I think they're super cute. So these were the shoes that I said would pair really nicely with that um, that tank. They're a little bit dirty because I wore them recently, so they need to be wiped off. But 
I think this would be a look with some like white bottoms or even black bottoms with that top just so that both colors can pop. So yeah, that was my little Marshalls shopping experience and now I got to put everything away and yeah, basically just kind of get the day started.